and welcome to the Medeski Stadium for the Tarlust End season preview for the championship. We've looked at Reading's squad, we've looked at Reading's manager and once again here in the glorious refines of the Medeski Stadium with the new pitch here as well, no markings on it because we're here on kit launch day on July 22nd, a couple of weeks before the start of the season. So if any of these teams go bust or anything that we're talking about, then that's the video done, isn't it really? But we'll start with Reading and exactly where we'll think they'll finish in the championship this year because it seems like a tougher competition, yeah. but I'm still relatively optimistic that Reading can finish maybe playoffs or maybe even automatic promotion. Yeah, I think that's probably around where I think we'll, we'll probably end up. I think perhaps automatic promotion is probably a little bit of a stretch, um, but I think certainly the playoffs are certainly achievable. Um, I think the league's probably gone a little bit up in quality from last season, um, but as I think we've, we've got to have set our expectations quite high, to be honest. I think we've, considering last season's finish, I think considering yeah. obviously the last couple of times where we've lost playoff finals, we've traditionally gone on to do quite well afterwards. Um, so I think, I think speaking to Callum Harry earlier, he was certainly really determined to to, do, to kick on from last season. I think certainly the top six is something to aim for. Yeah, absolutely. I think that the, as Callum Harry was, Harry was telling us, basically the more other teams get their big name signings, Middles were signing better, some were longer, yeah. Villa once again with John Terry, um, seems very bizarre, but I do, these do raise the quality of the championship, I think. It was quite a low quality championship, yeah. I think, last year. The fact that we finished third and, you know, I could tell you 25 things that were wrong with the team last year. Yeah. Um, but what sort of teams are sort of peaking your interest then. I think Middlesbrough and Sunderland are both going to be very strong, both have a I'm championship not, I'm not, I'm Wiley not, I'm not manager. So sure about Sunderland, to be honest. Their squad isn't so great, no. but I think Simon Grace is the That's type of manager, manager that yeah. they need to have. Um, looking around, you've got Villa and Norwich who were poor last year, but obviously you think going to get a bit better this year. Um, teams that are fighting with us last year, Sheffield Wednesday are going to be desperate. Fulham have kept their squad together, you would say, more yeah. or less. Um, Leeds have got a new manager and a new owner. So yes, well that's the thing, with Leeds and Wolves I consider them very much the unknown quantity teams. Theoretically yeah. they can go either way, they can be a complete mess or they can be a, a very good proposition. Um, looking even further down at teams like QPR and Ipswich, do you think they'll be troubling us or do you think they'll be staying where they were? They'll probably be around mid-table, I think Ipswich are sort of limited themselves in the fact they've got a very low budget. I think Mick McCarthy will be making a lot of that in, in the last couple of weeks. but. Um, I, QPR, they've got Ian Holloway, who I don't rate massively as a manager, mm. um, but no, I don't think we'll be seeing either of those two. I think you might see even some struggle a little bit down the wrong end of the table, possibly. Yeah, well, I would certainly have QPR down as a team that I think are potentially going to go down. Having that on camera isn't always the best advice to have for pre-season prediction, but they're a team that I would worry about if I was a fan of. And the newly promoted teams as well, Sheffield United, probably the most experienced of the newly promoted teams. Do yeah. we think that any of those three will be... Mm -hmm. Rowing the top um, half of the table at least. I think, as you said, I think Sheffield United probably the, have, have probably the best chance of, of doing that. But um, Bolton and Millwall, yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think they both have. They, all three of them have fairly decent championship squads, and I don't think they'll be. I don't. Obviously, we had Rotherham last season, who was sort of relegated by sort of November, December time. By default, really. By, wasn't by it? default, really. I, I don't think this season we're going to get a team that's atrociously bad. No, um, I, I do agree. I, I, I don't know, with Bolton and Millwall, you look, you look at those teams and for the championship I think a lot of it is about squad unity and having yeah. not necessarily big name signings but big name players who, or big match players rather who show up on the day and that's certainly something at Reading that we like to think that we have. Yeah. Looking at Bolton and Millwall I think that they're probably still a little bit short of the the quality to have any of that well, really they've stick. They've got Carrie and Fondra back together. Well, <laughs> just watch out with the 93rd minute then, yeah. <laughs> Alfie time might well be a thing again. Um, otherwise, I think that's pretty much it for the championship. So thank you very much for uh, tuning in. We've got our squad and our manager season previews up as well. We've been down here with the kit launch, as I say. And thank you very much to Reading Football Club, obviously, who have allowed us to do a little bit of filming around the stadium today. Hopefully, um, it will be something we'll be able to bring you more of. And we'll see you at QPR on Loft in Loftus Road for the new season.